Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install a uh, an electric cooling fan inside your uh, inside. Well, it could be any any vehicle really. Well, we're going to start off by taking taking off the engine belt. Put your uh, wrench on the tensioner and uh, take it off. Here's the here's the belt routing. Right. Once you get the belt out of the way, take off the upper radiator shroud. Or upper fan shroud. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna reuse this fan shroud as soon as we get done. But uh, first, we have to pull the the uh, the fan is actually hooked up to the water pump pulley right here. Aside from these top three bolts, there's two more on each side. This is a two-piece fan shroud. It, uh, the bottom half is what the radiator sits on top of, and the top half comes, you know, sandwiches the radiator on top of it. Set that aside for later. And now you have a little better access to your fan and to your actual radiator. Um, so we can go ahead and uh, pull this bad boy off. This one actually happens to be a uh, reverse flow or reverse rotation design because this, this has a serpentine belt on it. So the water pump actually is driven by the back side of the belt. So it uh, it runs it in reverse. So these are application specific. So we're going to go ahead and take these bolts off, or these nuts off. Actually, they're studs on this particular engine, so uh, they should they should come right out. If not, um, if so, we can just take this flange off, take the nuts off, take that flange off, bolt bolt the pulley right back on, and if not, if one of the studs come extra comes out. We can just replace it with a quarter inch bolt. So uh, I'm gonna grab a wrench for that. All right, got a wrench.
All right, now I got the bolts undone. And here's the old fan. So you can see the, uh, the water pump pulley is just kind of chilling out there now. Now we can go ahead and put the nuts back on and tighten those bad boys down. Actually, right now we can go ahead and put the belt back on too after we get these bolts tight or these nuts tight. Show you real quick how this uh, belt tensioner works. Nothing too fancy. Uh, we'll route the belt and we'll loosen it up and then we'll uh, slip the belt back on. Alrighty, belt is back on. Um, yeah. Alright, guys, here's the, what I plan on installing today. This is a 16 inch uh, cooling fan. It's got it's ready for 1400. 1400 uh, CFM be good enough for my 190 horsepower piece of junk. Got a couple extra mounting tabs for it. And I went ahead and got a uh, um, an adjustable thermostat uh, controller to adjust when it turns on and turns off. Otherwise, I, I could mount it to, a, to an actual switch in my truck and turn it on when I need it to need. But I'd rather just have it automatic. That way I don't have to worry about, about it. Here's the, uh, the stock fan. We'll go ahead and do a quick unboxing here. Pretty close to the same diameter. Uh, we're, we're a little bit shorter. I think I read somewhere that the, uh, the stock cooling fan is 19, uh, 19 inches and, a, and this is 16. So... Here we go. This particular fan comes with some uh, four pads, four little zip strips, and these uh, extra couple of mounting tabs, which I, I plan on using with my, uh, I got a couple extra mounts of zip strip here. So we'll go ahead and, yeah, we'll make sure to use all these. That way this thing's nice and solid mounted in there. But I don't know where I plan on, it'll probably be, I guess more of the side more than anything that I'll I'll put these these guys on maybe one maybe one kind of down here ish and one up here ish I know I've got plenty of space on the sides yeah this is gonna be a, a puller fan just like the stock one was uh, like I said I got this This uh, controller here for it too. It comes with a relay, a push in temperature probe. You push into your radiator. Um, comes with a relay. Comes with everything you need. So that's in here. And I'm not sh sure if it actually comes with a plug. Yeah, yeah, these are uh, this blue and uh, blue and orange here. Actually plugs in there, and I was just kind of expecting a, a the weather pack connector or whatever, but that'll uh, I guess that'll be good enough. And this red one here is for main power. Should be a black one here for main for relay ground. And anyway, I'll go ahead and uh, undo all this and let you let's see. First, let's go ahead and get the mounting mounting hardware and go ahead and mount this guy. All right. This is technically the stop, or the top of it, so I think, I, guess we can mount it. I think we'll go ahead and center it pretty well. You can see where the, uh, you can see where the, uh, the center of the water pump pulley is. So we'll go ahead and try to get the center of this motor pretty close to the center of the pulley. We'll let GM do the, uh, the engineering for us on the center of the, the radiator. So, 
Um, looks pretty good to me. I'll go ahead and put a couple of these zip strips in and we'll get going. A little trick. Uh, and I've got these little brackets here. But uh, instead of sending the easy way, instead of sending these, uh, these mounting deals, the stick strip, uh, zip strips, through this way, get out, figure out where you need them. Go ahead and stick them through, and then take your little uh, strip here. Thread it through, and, and uh, feed it through from the front side. That way you can snip off this side rather than having to reach reach in way down in there and try to snip those off. It can be a real pain in the butt. I did the first three, then I realized it'd be a little easier to do it the other way. So anyway, when you're done, you go ahead and uh, snip off the excess. And that is the actual mounting procedure for, new, for your new fan. So, it's on there solid. I can probably snake this through. I might have to just snake it through. I might just snake it up through over here. Or I might just run run the wires through. It says to hook the, uh, the blue wire coming off the relay to the positive and uh, took the, uh, the ground up to a solid ground. So I went ahead and I'm not using a second fan, so I cut the connector off the orange switch. That's supposed to be the power for a second switch. So I'm going to go ahead and hook that up. I hook that up and cut a, cut a small hole in the, in the shroud, and I'm going to put the shroud back on. Uh, love it when I lose screws. Something like a fan shroud that's kind of big and pretty flexible. Go ahead and just start each bolt. Don't you don't have to tighten them. Just start start each bolt and then and then start tightening because you can never know whenever something can get just slightly out of alignment and then you can't get the last one started, the last two started, or whatever. So just start them all and then tighten them down. That way you never have to worry about it. All right, the fan is on. Or the fan shroud is on. The fan. Is mounted, and we'll uh, we'll go get to wiring this guy. All right, I've got the the power, which is the blue wire, the ground, which I I modified and made the orange wire, and I got the thermocoupler or the temperature probe. That is the black wire coming out of there. It's actually a pair of wires. So now we just need to hook the. Uh, the main red up to ground, or up, sorry, up to power. This black up to ground, and that orange up to ground. Heat shrink. I like to use heat shrink butt connectors. We're gonna do a little test real quick on the fan. The yellow wire is supposed to be a switch 12 volt source. We're gonna get that from the, the fuel pump uh, power into the relay, which doesn't take, it doesn't take anything for juice, so no big deal. I would have gone to the um, ignition coil, but it's a little closer to the, the fuel pump uh, relay. And this is supposed to go to your AC circuit. So when you turn the AC on, it'll the fan will always be blown because you're AC condenser always needs uh, uh, nice fresh air flowing over it to, to cool things down. So technically, if you uh, put these wires together and put them on 12 volts, the fan should turn on. So let's let's test her out. There you go. How about that? She works. All righty, just fired her up. Cool fan stuff. See my wires go over there. 
kind of kind of jungle mess over here, but uh, Here we are about ready to start another uh, 0 60 test. Now my time officially starts as soon as I see the, the oil pressure shoot up. So that's how, that's how I have been timing it. Uh, three, two. Tries again. Three, two. As if the engine hasn't been properly heat soaked, uh, it's been this is a, about 20 seconds after that first video. Uh, I'm gonna go and stop right here and uh, do another 060.